If you have any questions about Nuka World, I'd be delighted to answer them. And remember, if you collect a full Uh-huh. Tell me more about these park medallions. I'd be delighted to. Spread throughout the park are several dispensing machines that will give you a special park medallion. Once you've got a complete set, just bring them back to me for a special reward. I've got a full set of park medallions. So you do. Why, that's just nougatastic. Here's your special reward. What else would you like to know? No questions for now. In that case, thanks for... Air. You're still here? Get the hell out of my face! System restored. Have a great day. This is going to be fun. Back for more. Raiders out of here, didn't you? Too bad they were some of my best customers. <laughs> so, what do you have? Sure, let's take a look. You bet. Hey, Piper. You look like you could use a pick-me-up. Is everything all right with you? Hey. Well, it's awful nice to be traveling with someone who's got their head on straight. So, I'd say I'm good. See if she had anything. That's a plan. To. Grab anything useful. Can do. Check it out. Of course. See if there's anything there. Uh huh.
be hunting. I found all the hidden cappies. Each one had a letter? Great. Let me take a look at these letters. Well, it's simpler than I was expecting. So how do we use this code? This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to key in the ten numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. You did all the work looking for the hidden copies, so you should be the one who gets to enter the code. Only opens with a key. That's it! The door's unlocked! Let's go inside! Search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a few secrets, and they'll probably be well hidden. Interesting. Come on. What on earth? Wait. No. It can't be. That's John Caleb Bradburton. Or at least it's his head. Wow. Who, who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Nuka-Cola more than anything! I sort of feel sorry for him. You there, with the pit boy What are you doing here? We solved your hidden cappy contest. The hidden cappy contest. It all seems so long ago. Another lifetime. That was before I became this monster. Before I was trapped here for centuries to suffer in solitude. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. I can't imagine what you must have gone through. I'm truly sorry, Mr. Bradburton. Uh, oh, 
weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them on one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! There's got to be a better solution than killing you. That's easy for you to say. Standing there on your own two legs. Able to go where you wish and do what you want. You can't kill him. He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola. The best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall decade after decade. Now please shut up while I talk to your more rational friend here. I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy, but there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please, set me free at last. I can't- Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Bradburton wants- Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Yeah. That's not happening. I want that experimental ammunition. I know, I know, but I have something else that I can offer you. I've got a limited edition Nuka-Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish, and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but... Well... I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka-Cola jumpsuit? Ha! That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours, but I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. How could I drink Nuka-Cola? Hey, Sierra. I'm almost afraid to ask, but... Cola. That was the opportunity of a lifetime. Emphasis on was. I can't believe someone as smart as Mr. Bradburton would be fooled into thinking you could live forever. I guess he was terrified of growing old. Hi, Sierra. Maybe you did the right thing. I don't know. I feel so conflicted about all of this. You wanted the Nuka-Cola formula? Here it is. So it really was here. I'm grateful. I don't think this means I've forgiven you. You killed the man who was my greatest hero. A man who revolutionized the soft drink industry, and whose creations put smiles on a million faces. Who the hell are you to just walk in here and destroy all that? You're being selfish, Sierra. This wasn't about what you wanted. This was about what he needed. What he needed? I hadn't thought of it that way. It's just that to get an opportunity still, mm -hmm. I'll never forget that. Not ever. You're welcome. Here, 
I know it's not much, but you really went above and beyond the Call of Duty. I think I'll stick around by the time I'm... What you got for me? 